Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a sit down video. I'm usually doing vlogs. Vlogs are like my favorite thing to do right now, especially with how much Little Miss grows from one week to the next. I love to do vlogs, but I had somebody request that I do a newborn essentials. And I know that when I was pregnant and right before I had a baby, heck, when I first found out I was having a baby, I immediately started doing my research, aka YouTube, and watched tons of these videos so i wanted to bring y'all our tips because let's be honest if you are about to have a baby or you just had a baby your world has been rocked you're not going to love every single part of it there are definitely going to be some hard parts of it but you're going to love that baby so much so i want to show you some of the things that have helped us through the first three months and are still helping us now if you didn't drink coffee before and you became a mom you're definitely drinking it now right <laughs> Okay, so I have three main categories of things. The first one is just like general stuff that's helped us throughout the day, every single day, um, just little tips and tricks. The second thing is like bath time and like grooming their fingernails and things. So I've got stuff for that. Last category is sleep. Oh my gosh, I watched billions of these videos once Avery was born to try and figure out how I could get that kid to sleep. So I wanted to show you our tips and tricks because I think we finally... I should knock on wood before I say this. I think we finally got it figured out. So let's get to the video. Okay, so the first one is kind of like a duh, of course you need this, but burp cloths. Not only one burp cloth, two burp cloths. I mean like dozens of burp cloths. When we first had the baby, I had a basket, I still do, a basket downstairs. It's got burp cloths, diapers, wipes, anything I could need if I'm down there. And we fill it with burp cloths. Upstairs, we have burp cloths everywhere. And one thing that I will say is if you're having a girl, well, if you're having a boy too, as much as it's so tempting, go for the plain white burp cloths. The color of the burp cloth, the design on the burp cloth, it doesn't really matter. They're gonna spit up on it. They're gonna get it nasty. And to be very honest, this is my favorite brand. This is the Green Sprouts brand. And it was given to us by a friend of mine who is also pregnant. And it's like, I swear she knew. She had like a sixth sense because she had not had her baby when she sent this to me. Um, these are super thick and super absorbent. I like these better than the plain like muslin ones because they're not gonna let spit up leak through. Whereas those, if I lay them on my shoulder, I'll find that sometimes spit up will leak through. So these are super thick, super absorbent. They're big. You know, they're not going to like you have a, a large surface area that it covers. So I will link anything that I can down below, because if you're watching this, if you are having a baby or you know someone who's having a baby, these can be super helpful. So I'll link this down below. But tons of burp cloths. I even asked my husband, what's some of our newborn essentials? And the first thing he said was burp cloths. So we have a spitter. That's a big thing in our household. The next thing is... Avery was a very, is a very gassy baby. She has acid reflux, and so her tummy seems to be very unsettled a lot. This is really helpful right before I put her down for bed. Um, this is infant's Mylocon drops. This is gas relief. In the beginning, people told us to use gripe water, and I was like, oh yeah, I've heard of gripe water. But unfortunately, if the baby already has gas, gripe water is not going to cut it. You want to give them gripe water before to prevent gas. This will relieve any gas that they have. So we used this so much when she first came home from the hospital because she just was always gassy. Now that we've kind of gotten her formula figured out, we know which ones work best, it's not as much of a necessity. But we use this about once a day now, not as much as before, but we give it to her right before bedtime. Bedtime is the only time that she has a bottle right before she lays down to go to sleep. So this helps to settle her tummy as she's going to bed and not cause like bubbles and things. Okay, this last thing in this category has been so much fun actually. So one day before Avery was born, this box showed up on our doorstep at like 8 p.m. at night. And I was like, what the heck is this? And it was a box of Hello Bella diapers. And so I thought, are they sending out like promo boxes to new moms? Did they get it from like a Simulac website or something that I signed up for because I was a new mom? No, my mom and dad had actually bought us a subscription. So these are the Hello Bella diapers. She's in size two now. Oh my gosh. The kid weighs 14 pounds. <laughs> She's a big girl. But um, these are fragrance and lotion free, plant derived, clinically proven hypoallergenic, which she hasn't really had skin allergies to diapers, but we find that these are our favorite. They just fit her well. Plus they're super cute. Like look at that design. In the subscription, you get, I think it's seven packages of diapers per month and four packages of wipes. And I find that it is the perfect amount. You can go in every single month before they ship it. You can customize the size that they're wearing. You can customize the designs. So this one's flowers, but 
right now she's currently wearing like rainbows and swimming pool designs and butterflies and she has plaid she has arrows i mean they're so stinking cute and so your baby's cute even down to her diaper right even though there's some not so cute things going on in there i just find that this is super helpful because i don't have to worry about diapers my parents bought us this subscription but honestly if i had not known about this subscription before and looked into it i would still go for it because it is so nice to not have to worry about diapers they just come in the mail i never have to worry about oh my gosh are we going to run out of diapers it's awesome so if you're a new mom and you're needing a, so a solution for that, especially if your state is still kind of not locked down, but it's still harder to find things. For some reason, baby things are the first thing to go. Check this out because we never had an issue. Nothing was ever late, even in the middle of quarantine. And they are awesome. They're awesome. Okay, so although Avery did not have issues when it came to like which diapers she wore, she did have some really dry skin in the beginning. All babies have like baby acne if you see. I've heard it's just like the mom's hormones finally leaving their system. And I think Avery's peaked around four weeks. Um, it's definitely gone now. But during that time, I was like, oh my gosh, what do I do for her poor little face? And so one of the things that I found is using fragrance-free baby soap. So this is just the Baby Dove. Uh, it's really nice. It doesn't have any kind of like fragrances or parabens or whatever that stuff is called it did really well to like clear up the acne which was good and also keep her skin really really soft um we love baby dove i was a real stickler for like johnson's at first but now that we've used this and it's done so well on her body we don't use anything else along the same lines this is almost out i need to get more but i use a vino calming comfort lavender lotion at nighttime before she goes to bed our doctor warned us not to bathe her every single night but she does get to play in the water because she loves the water we just put her in a warm bath and let her play for a little bit if it's not technically like bath night um, but every single night before she goes to bed after i put her diaper on I put lotion all over her body just to make sure that her skin is being moisturized even through the night when we keep it colder in the house and it smells really good. It smells like lavender, which is supposed to be super calming. It helps her kind of get to sleep. And to be very honest with you, I forgot to put this on her last night and it took her a little bit longer to go to sleep. So I truly think that it actually makes a difference, the smell. The last thing in this category was told to me before I had Avery and I made sure I picked it up because every mom or dad is afraid of cutting and nicking their little baby's fingers and making them bleed when they're trying to cut their fingernails. So this product I've shared before on my Instagram, which if you're not following me, I will put my handle here. Um, we just, we hang out on there a lot. But one of the things that I posted was this nail kit. And to be very honest with you, I don't remember the name of it. Let me find it. This is the mm, Lupont, something like that. If you just search baby nail, on Amazon, it's the first thing that comes up. They have it in several different colors, but I got it in pink because obviously Avery's a girl. Anyway, so it's just this little nail file like you would see at the nail salon, but honestly, I've checked it on myself before I did it on her. They can't feel anything should it like hit their skin. It is so perfect. It comes with these different color um, filing pads, which are for the different ages. So I think the first one, which is this peach one up here, is zero to three, three to six, six to nine, and then 12 to 18, I think. I don't know that for sure, but I think that's the case. All this stuff right here, I don't know what it's for, but I have used it on my own nails. So I don't use it on her, but I use it on my own. This has been such a lifesaver. It's got a little, uh, I can show it to you, I guess. It's got a flashlight on it too, so that when you're actually sitting there looking at it, you can see. So you can see the light turns on. You can also turn up the intensity. It's really nice. It's been really, really helpful. I've never actually cut her um, at all, obviously, because I've got this tool. So this has brought me a lot of ease and ease my anxiousness about making sure her nails are trimmed. We do it about once or twice a week. She doesn't really care. She doesn't even really notice. It's great. Okay, so for the last category, it's the sleep category, there were lots of things that helped us and things changed. I still don't think we have an exact science of what works for her always. You know, sometimes we have to change things up. We've changed things up so many times, but a couple things that helped us. Number one is a sound machine. Holy smokes. This thing, she does not sleep without. We take it on trips with us. It's very portable. I know a lot of people use the hatch. We just take this one with us. This was given to us for a wedding gift. 
Um, and honestly, I love to sleep with like white noise or rain on, but I was happy to pass this over when I found out that it helps a lot. So we just keep it on either white noise or a lot of time I just keep it on rain. It's not on, obviously it plugs in, but you can also put batteries in it, put it on rain. And I actually put it pretty loud. If you think about it, when a baby is in the womb, it's very loud in there. They're hearing like, it sounds like white noise, supposedly. How do we know that? Um, because of the blood rushing through the placenta. I put it on rain. We put it pretty loud. It seems to help a ton, especially because we have dogs in the house that love to bark the minute anybody walks by. It doesn't seem to bother her. She seems to be like in her own little world. Another thing is Avery sleeps in her own room. I'm not telling you to put your kids in their own room when they're that young. She started sleeping in her own room when she was two weeks old. And in fact, I made Robbie move our whole box spring mattress, the dog's bed, in there for the first night after she's, when she slept there. Um, it didn't stay there, obviously, but she does so much better in her own room. She sleeps better, we sleep better, and that's just what works for us. If that doesn't work for you, I'm not telling you to try it. I'm just saying this is how we are doing sleep. Another thing that you're told in the hospital when you have a baby is keep them swaddled. And for the longest time I thought, why does she, she doesn't want to be swaddled. She keeps busting out of it. Well, that wasn't the truth. The truth is she has this reflex that causes her to move, which would then undo the swaddle. So the swaddles that we used that helped a lot were the Swaddle Me brand. These are from Target. And they're so nice because they have Velcro. So it Velcros across the front, it Velcros in the back. Um, and it even has like this little hole in the back, which I didn't know what it was for, but apparently it's if you want to like put them in a swing or something, I don't know. But uh, it's so helpful because they can't bust out of it until you're Hulk Avery and you're like mm, two and a half months old and you decide that you're going to bust through it every single night. So every night when she would bust it open, she'd wake up. So then we moved to this thing and you're going to laugh at me. I need to insert a picture of her in it because she looks like a little snow baby. This is the Magic Merlin sleep suit. No, this is the Baby Merlin's Magic Sleep Suit. Now they can still move their arms, they can still move their legs, but they do have to work a little bit. So in the middle of the night, when the startle reflex kicks in, they don't wake themselves up in the middle of the night. If I'm being very honest with you, the first night she slept in this is the first night that she slept through the night. Call it coincidence, I don't know. She still sleeps in it now. We did try putting her on her tummy. She likes to sleep on her tummy and we feel comfortable with that. I will show you why in just a second. But we ended up putting her back on her back because she did not sleep in anything better except for this magic or Merlin's magic sleep suit. This is a size small. It's for three to six months. However, we put Avery in this at two and a half months. She's a big baby. <laughs> so um, they also have a larger size for when they get older, which I'm sure we will move to soon because she loves this thing. And it's almost like a calming thing. She's the kind of baby that will tell you, I am ready to go to bed get out of my face, put me down. And the minute you put her in this and zip her up, it's like she calms down. So we love this thing. I got it from Amazon. They have it in all kinds of colors, but of course we chose pink. I'm sure we'll get a new one for our next baby. Definitely check this out if you're having issues with babies busting out of swaddles and then it waking them up. And the next thing you know, we're having 3 a.m. crib parties. So just check it out. We love it. And the last thing that I will tell you that really eases our minds, Avery likes to sleep on her tummy. So we go back and forth between her napping on her tummy and sleeping in the Merlin's magic sleep suit. So in order to ease my mind from the time she was born, from the day she came home from the hospital, if you can hear, she's ready for a nap. <laughs> She'll tell you, let me go to bed. I'm exhausted. And it's right about nap time. So from the day she came home from the hospital, we started using this. You've probably heard this before, but this is called the Owlet Sock, or the Owlet Sleep Sock. We love this thing. It goes on her little foot. It will tell us, let me see if I can pull it up on my phone. It will tell us what her heart rate is. It will tell us what her oxygen level is. And it even doubles as a baby monitor. However, we do not use it as a baby monitor because our Wi-Fi is not the greatest. And one night I woke up to her screaming through the wall because she had been crying for a while and we didn't know because the, um, it did this. The Wi-Fi crapped out on us and therefore disconnected from our sock. So we could still see what she was doing as far as like heart rate and oxygen, but we couldn't see or hear her as far as the baby monitor is concerned. Okay, so it's not turned on right now, but if it was, where you see the little heart right there, that would show us what her heart rate is or her beats per minute, and then this would tell us what her oxygen level is. It even has a little thing where you can go and look at the history, and it'll tell you, like, how well your baby slept. They were awake at this time. Their average heart rate was this. They slept really good here. So it's really awesome. Um, 
it's just been like a serious Ser for somebody who is a new mom and has anxious thoughts about like SIDS or her rolling over not being able to breathe in the middle of the night that really freaks me out so this has been super helpful and then the actual baby monitor that we use is called the hello baby i got this off of amazon it had really good reviews it's awesome you can talk to the baby through it you can hear through it you can move the camera around you can hook several cameras up to it so it's also been really good but that is the end of this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about things that we have done or maybe I've missed something that you think has really helped you, please drop it down in the comments. I'm sure all of us new moms would love to share in each other's victories. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time. I love you all and God bless you.